best Christmas lights I have seen on store in my life. And even though it is absolutely chucking it down, I'm covering you guys with an umbrella. I've got my brolly out. Look at Harrods. This is absolutely insane. Wow. I am literally glowing from the Christian Dior lights. The overlay on Harrods this year, Christmas 2022. My gosh, I have seen some TikToks and you guys have been messaging me so much on Instagram, go and give me a follow, um, to show the outside. And I was gonna show you in the day, but we're gonna go to the Christian Dior exhibition, which you have to get tickets for, it's free. But honestly, if you're watching this now, quickly go online, get yourself a slot. Um, and this was the only day that they could do. So this is gonna be the first uh, installment of Christmas at Harrods. Let me show you more. This whole store, they have taken every single window as far as I am aware, and it has been overlaid with this beautiful light structure. I've never seen this much on the side of a store before. Um, let me know what else has happened in, yeah, I don't think outside of Harrods when I, even when I Google. Like a brand, um, yes, yeah, sponsoring? I don't know, promoting themselves on a department store. But this is just ridiculous, I love it. I hope my camera does it justice, but yes, you've got this gorgeous floral design all the way along, and yes, it's integrated, it changes. There we go, it's going dark, then it's going light. Hopefully that comes out on camera. And you have this amazing kind of star, celestial uh, design, which is a big part of, I think, of, of their range. I'm sure we're gonna learn more inside. Oh, you can see the rain, it is coming down now. I really hope there's no water on my camera for you guys, but there's usually those little lights you can see um, all year round for Harris. I think they're all year anyway. But yes, this frame, I don't know how they have put this up. This is incredible. Now, like I said, I've seen pictures on Instagram Guys, even if you're just watching the first two minutes of this vlog, you have to come to Harris to see this. That design is beautiful, and if you watched my uh, Christmas decorations in London vlog, which was last Friday's, you would see that they had this beautiful star on the main uh, deal store on New Bond Street. My gosh, this is absolutely crazy. I forgot how hard it is to vlog <laughs> with a camera and an umbrella. I'm not taking any photos tonight. I, my phone, I'm not gonna be able to, I need three arms. <laughs> so on both sides of the road, we have got the Harrods sign all lit up and Christian Dior with a couple of ships. I'm trying to get the shot in the background. It's not gonna happen. If you have any gingerbread, you probably wanna go and grab it because that's kind of the theme. The long string, well, it's definitely meant to be um, like a pretzel, I guess. What's that called? We're also going to go into the Dior Cafe and see what we can get at the little bakery. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. Get your phones ready. Come here and take some pics. Maybe there's something quite cosy and very realistic about a rainy midweek night <laughs> in the city. We also have some Union flags, Union Jacks, um, along this road, which, yeah, not many roads still have them. So there was a lot, obviously, from the Jubilee. Anyway, let's cross the road. Right, my lovelies, I'm so glad I came at night time. I will be back in the daytime, don't you worry. But let's have a look at all of the windows. And um, I think it's gonna be pretty epic. And I hope this is coming out. It's a bit lighter around the front, but I'll show you. The edges of the window are a frame. It looks like gingerbread, are you joking? I love a mechanical window for Christmas. Hold on, let me scoot back. Look at this, it's coming down a funnel. It's like a factory and a little Lady Dior, the Celestial. I think this might be, we're gonna learn a lot more about the range, I'm sure, and the history. And it's like a little pretend conveyor belt. How cute. And yes, panelled, obviously fake gingerbread with this beautiful design, almost like stenciled, sprayed on. Oh my gosh. And a huge Dior sign. And around it, this is outside, you can touch it. I'm thinking it's plastic. Um, it's like piped, like icing. That's probably a better view. <laughs> There's loads of people obviously looking. And they've got like this really cool, um, yeah, kind of pretend conveyor belt with all loads of different deal products. And I think this looks like it's all a celestial range. Look at that book bag that is beautiful. And yeah, it's all piped. I wonder how they made this. Absolutely adorable. We're definitely going to go into the cafe, don't you worry. And loads of different pieces from the range will go inside in a minute, don't you panic. A tiny miniature Lady Dior. Oh, and this, we scoot past this frame. It looks like there's some cute candles as well. Oh my gosh. And then all of these funnels. Are they Dior baubles? They might be, but all these cool funnels. Oh, it's like the best factory ever. Are you joking? I am definitely fighting at the weather this evening. So yeah, it's got a little atelier. 
um, across the top and then Christian Dior down at the bottom and it's literally window after window. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna show you all of them, but I'll do my best. So we're still along the front of the store. Some cool uh, gingerbread looking chairs and these are the chairs I believe are in the actual restaurant. Obviously not the one that's a half, um, but the gorgeous, gorgeous Dior shoes. I must confess, I can't remember what these are called. I know a lot of people um, have got them. This beautiful slingbacks, they're stunning. But I kind of appreciate the setup. Look at the background, this pretend paneling of gingerbread. Oh my gosh, I really need to buy a gingerbread house. I wonder if they sell one, like a Dior one. Is that a bit extra? But yeah, here we go, the fabulous world of Dior at Harrods, running until the 3rd of January. So you've got loads of time, guys, don't panic. Just maybe don't come on a, a Saturday night or a Friday night. But look at this, we've got some of the most iconic shapes and styles from Dior over the years. Like I said, we are gonna go into the exhibition. And yeah, this is <laughs> obviously pretend, but they've done such a good job. It looks really realistic, it's, it's pretty cool. Oh, that necklace is nice. I'm loving all the celestial items. I was trying to see, oh my camera is getting soaked, how they've actually attached this without damaging the front of the store, because this has got to be like a, what, like a grade two listed building? I'm not sure. There is only one Harrods. Yes, there are a couple at the airports, but look at this, these little glass moments. Number 30 at the Christian Dior store. Oh, I love it. Oh, there's going to be so much cool stuff inside, guys. If you're not a Dior fan, I still think this is pretty cool to come and see. Oh, it's so cute. And I love that they have got something different in every single window. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be blunt, guys. This must have cost millions to sponsor. Not just to make, but they must have paid Harrods a lot. Goodness me. And the reason I say that is windows generally look, and I don't know what the prices are, so don't come for me, um, but in other places that I've worked, yeah, a window on Oxford Street, uh, like maybe two weeks before Christmas, two weeks in December, easily a hundred grand, easily a hundred grand. So you've got the entire store. How many windows have we got here? Three, six, nine, twelve. Probably close to thirty windows, and the entire store and a cafe. What? Actually, if you want to gaze at it all evening. There's a cafe concerto opposite. Oh my gosh, they've done the advertising as well. Stop. Oh my gosh, Dior. How are you ever going to top this? So yeah, the scaffolding for this building. We've just been up, oh, flip the neck. Loud lorries. The scaffolding's been up for a long time. And yeah, they've got advertising on it as well. Jeez, it is a Dior Christmas. Again, Atelier. Oh, maybe it's going to be like a workstation. This one is. Oh, it's like they're actually like making the jacket and making the gingerbread, like pattern cutting. That's so cute. And then over here, so I'm, I'm moving my camera a little bit too much, aren't I? Um, we've got all the little drawers, all the knickknacks, and as I pan down, you can see some little buttons and scissors. There's definitely going to be lots of atelier dressmaking extraordinaire things in here for sure. Oh, it's so cool. And it's very magical. I know it's obviously branded, but it's been done in such like a kind of traditional whimsical way, if that, if that makes sense. I think even kids would quite like this. I think with the, the moving elements, which you do not see in many stores um, these days, but I think mechanical windows at Christmas. I mean, are you joking? Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's like a, the little store at the bottom where they've got all the jackets for men and all the women stuff. And then the actual entrance. I'm not gonna pronounce that. Avenue, Mon, yeah, I'm not gonna pronounce that. Wow. This is absolutely incredible. I'm actually really blown away. I thought it was going to be good, but I didn't think it would be this good. Oh my gosh, even if you're not into fashion, you've got to come down and have a look. And I know people are like, well, JCPenney's had a nice window, Macy's, FAO Schwartz. No, 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 guys. There's only one Harrods and they have blown it. They've blown everyone else out of the water. The problem is, what are they going to do next year, 2023? It's a high bar that they have set. This is non-stop, guys. In the corners there, can you see? They've got like little maps. Um, oh gosh, I should have Googled what that meant. I went the other day, you might have seen in my other video. <laughs> what does that mean? I can't remember. But look at this celestial, beautiful window. Yeah, I'm not gonna edit out people walking across. <laughs> There's too many people, but look at that. Would die if I got to wear something like this in my life. I need to lose a few pounds, but you know what? Look at that fabric. Is that jacquard? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, even the gingerbread looking um, ship in the background is pretty impressive. Got the little fan on the belt. Oh my gosh, I don't know how they've made this, but they have done an exceptional job. It's beautiful. more 
down the other side. Oh my gosh, could you imagine having Dior plates? I mean, I'm guessing you can buy them. They do do homewares. Oh, and they're very festive. Oh my gosh, was that a big splat on my camera? It was. Guys, I've cleaned the lens about, probably no exaggeration when I say 30 times already. So hopefully there's no watermarks, but look at that. I love all the gingerbread designs that they've done. I wonder what they use to spray. It really does look like icing sugar and actual like piped icing. <laughs> look at this table. <laughs> oh my gosh, it re well, actually I'm gonna just lower the, 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 the classy level here. It reminds me of that Skoda advert, do you remember? And they made that um, Skoda out of cake. That was absolutely marketing genius. Oh, look at that. Fancy, I wouldn't want to use them. So yeah, they had like a PR like press event. I, I, it was only the other day and it was all over TikTok. And I was like, I have to come down. But I did find, no one really showed the windows that much. Um, and I think the press thing was like at lunchtime, so you didn't get to see it all lit up. So I'm really glad I came down. One of their iconic fragrances. Yes, this isn't an ad. I wasn't invited down. Maybe one day. <laughs> You never know, probably not, but um, yeah, that's a really lovely fragrance, by the way, if you're looking for a present. And these, I guess, are meant to look like shards of um, sugar, right? And then obviously the gingerbread. Flip neck, it's amazing. And then we're just down the side, there's the Baccarat bar um, entrance, which is quite cool. Saying that, if you want to see just like a general tour, this is such a spooky vlog, look at me, I'm all like yellowy orange with this light, but I don't know how else to film. Um, but yeah, if you want like a general tour of Harrods and outside of Christmas, and um, I did pop into the Baccarat bar um, as well, I will link that to, uh, below, because I have done Harrods quite a few times, and I will do in another video all the actual Christmas decorations in the, yeah, the Christmas store. So you get in a couple, couple of videos, Videos because these videos end up being too long because I talk too much. Oh look at this! Gingerbread star which is like an actual house and it's mechanical. The bears are going up and down. They really have... Oh my gosh in the attic! In the loft even, sorry. I keep saying Americanisms at the moment. Look at that. Oh I love anything mechanical. I'm such a child. But yes this is a, a kids wear window. We've got another little store with a lot of their fragrances as a feature. Oh yeah J'adore! Wow, that's a very iconic fragrance. It's been around for a very long time. Oh my gosh, a massive bottle of it. And then we've got a little beauty lipstick moment <laughs> with all the lipsticks hanging. That's really cool. I do have to say out of Dior Beauty, their lipstick and also their nail varnishes are insane. So if you're looking for something fancy, I would highly, highly recommend. But look at this little stacked Christmas tree. I think you can just about see that. There's quite a lot of lights in the background. And you can get one of these if you're dining, I think, at the uh, little bakery, which we will see momentarily. I mean, look at it, it's a beast. getting really cold and wet now. Let's head on round. Across the way actually, let me show you. You have Harry's. Oh gosh, the back screen on my camera just stopped working. I think you can see that, but it's very Christmassy. And I'm going there in a couple of weeks time and I will take you along. And there we have the Dior Cafe, which has been, um, yeah, applied to an existing cafe, which I think, yeah, like I said, I think it was called Juliet's. So I'm going to have to Google that, but I did film it before, so you can do a bit of a comparison if you want to watch that other video that I mentioned. But look at the little window, little display. Oh, it's so cute. Let's have a look. Oh, it's nice and warm in here, guys. I'm so soggy from outside. So look at this, the fabulous world of Dior. We've got Dior. Oh, it's a club with biscuitiers. I've definitely shown you those guys quite a few times. They are very, very premium. An individual biscuit, <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah, 15 pounds, a trio is 35, and a tin of nine is at 60, which I did see actually on someone's um, Instagram. They look absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, what an amazing gift. You can see on the side of that box, if you can zoom in. Um, yeah, that is the brand that are making them. So a fantastic idea. Look at these, they're so cute. And this one on the end has taken my fancy. Look at that, the B23 high sneaker. That's so cool. I wouldn't want to eat any of these, but these would be an incredible gift, imagine. This back wall, um, if you have seen another video, maybe you've been here where it was Juliet's, they had loads of like rose wine, and it was, yeah, like a cafe, you get like cakes, croissants, things like that, but this looks beautiful. And actually, let me go up a little bit more. You can see they've done that paneling of the, uh, the faux gingerbread 
absolutely everywhere. A little train as well with the CD. Christian Dior at the, Dior at the front, God can't even talk. So said Christian Dior so many times. And the little house as well. you guys are all going to be saying, Hannah, what the heck, why don't you have a reservation, why aren't you going there? I did look at the menu, um, and the breakfast seems like a really nice kind of cute, because it's a cafe at the end of the day, like you would have seen, it's not like a, you know, like a, I mean, of course it's a proper restaurant, but you know what I'm trying to say, um, and the, like, main courses for the lunch, dinner, um, I think they were the same, actually, honestly, they were more than I personally would want to spend on that type of experience. So there's other restaurants that I want to go to, like Harry's. Um, there's a couple of restaurants that I will take you along on like afternoon teas. For that price, I'd rather go for an afternoon tea. So it's just a personal preference. Okay, it's like a proper tour, guys. I'll show you what I can. Ooh, there's about 30 people in the group. Without further ado, welcome to the fabulous world of Dior. It's just like to around to Everyone gasped. <laughs> Someone said it was like a <laughs> This one has the hat and next door is menswear. All inspired by different flowers. Designs by Christian Dior himself and also Marie Gracia. thinking up all his amazing ideas. We have a recreation of a very famous photo outside the boutique down below. Lady Dior bag, I'm sure you'll recognise it. it. Used to be called the Choo Choo bag until it was renamed the Lady Dior, Lady Dior after Lady Diana herself. So Le Corne Noir was known for its lavish flower garden. Paul Noir in pride place. The roses from the gardens of the Corne Noir are used in the fragrances even today. Do not miss Christian Dior himself inside him, into his fragrances. His prized dog was Christian Dior's childhood home. He is depicted in bed, creeping up the amazing iconic car jacket. And we were speaking about earlier. Are we are going to go. Wow, that's super bright now outside. Most expensive exit through the gift shop. <laughs> no, this Dior section has been here for quite some time they have such an amazing display that was so cute that was so cute so it's 15 minutes they do it feels like they, you whiz around quite quickly um the guy who was the tour guide was really sweet um but yeah i kind of was like trying to get to the front so i could hear what he was saying but it's just a really nice kind of very top line history of uh yeah christian dior i'm very hungry now for gingerbread so i'm actually gonna uh, quickly grab some food from the food tour of course i'm going to um yeah i really enjoyed that i am looking a little bit disheveled right now um so i'm gonna love and leave you if you want to see christmas decorations so the actual um, like Christmas store here and the decorations inside and you can see some in the background um, stick around because my next video because I'm actually coming back here in a couple of days time because I need to go to the dentist around the corner that's why um, but this was a bit unplanned but it was the only slot I could get my slot was 8pm um, just so you know when I got there they did say if, like on the email it said to be there 15 minutes before which I did but it was already full the slot which is fine um, so yeah there's about 30 people in the group I think it varies they did let a couple of people slip in because there was enough room um, but yeah, I would really recommend. I did try to show you the most of it, so I wouldn't go like crazy out of your way to go and see it. But yeah, if you can get a slot, it's free. Why not? And it definitely makes you want to go and buy some ginger gingerbread. Oh, I haven't spot now. I need my dinner, guys. I love and leave you. Subscribe. Stick around. What was my point? That I will have another Harrods vlog, which will be showing you the non-Dior stuff. I mean, if you've made it this far in the video, you probably are a Dior fan. But yes, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Say hi on Instagram, all that jazz. Um, so Vlogmas actually, because you're watching this on Black Friday, aren't you? Happy Thanksgiving for those who celebrate that weekend. Um, I'm going to be doing a vlog, I regret saying this, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday at 6pm. I think I'll stick to 6pm on all my uploads. So in December, it's all going to be Christmas. Anyway, rambling on. See you next weekend. Bye.